Hello, this is Raina again. Thank you for joining me for the second part of my Christmas bells uh, video. And as promised, uh, in my second video, I'm going to show you the golden sun. And uh, we're using the same materials. Um, I have my tiny bells. So this time I'm using the um, golden bell. Uh, one inch diameter uh, ring. My two hooks, two millimeters, 2.25 millimeters. And uh, Aunt Lydia's metallic cro crochet thread color gold and just like before the first thing to do is to measure 60 inches strand fold it so you can start using the two strands together for the first row uh, grab your bell insert hook through and insert through the loop pull it through and make your first stitch. Attach the uh, bell. Next, bring your ring. Insert hook through the ring and then also through the loop and bring it from the under the ring through here. Then reach over the ring insert hook pull through and make your first stitch into the ring it's actually your second stitch now we have our um, bell attached to the ring and for the golden sun we're going to uh, single stitch 38 times into the ring and using the two strands So just uh, make 38 of these stitches for the first row. I finished my 38 single stitches into the ring. We'll now slip stitch into the first to join. And at this point, we're going to separate the thread, bring the thread in along with you for the second row to um, stitch over it so it's already woven in. And then continue with one strand and um, just a single stitch again in each stitch. So again, you will have a total of 38 stitches. I finished my second row, 38 stitches, single stitches. We'll join into the first stitch with slip stitch. And um, at this point, we'll cut off the thread, the one that we brought in, brought along. Okay. And um, it's going to be a third and last row. And for that, we'll stitch again to the bigger hook, 2.25 millimeters. Okay, so now for the golden sun, uh, the pattern goes like this. Chain three, then double crochet into the same stitch. But don't uh, end the double crochet, um, leave the last loop on the hook because it's going to be a cluster. And then do another one, another double crochet and don't end it. Keep that last loop on the hook as well. And when that's done, pull over the thread and pull it over, pull it through all the stitches on hook at once. That's how we make, we make the cluster. 
And uh, then we're uh, going to make a pico, chain three, slip stitch into the first chain, and cha chain one more. This is our first pico. Now I'm already uh, bringing a yarn over the hook. Skip one stitch below this one and insert hook into the next. And now <clears throat> we're going to do the um, uh, three double crochet stitch cluster. So for that, starting again doing our double crochet, but not pulling through the last loop. Keep that on a hook. Let's do the second one, same way. Keep that last loop on the hook. And one more. Okay, so we, we have now four loops on the hook and pull through all of them at once. Here's our second cluster. Uh, we're gonna make a pico again, chain three, two, three. Knots are coming in. Uh, slip stitch into the first chain. And chain one more. Let's do another cluster. So pull over the yarn, put it on a hook, uh, skip one stitch below this one, insert a hook into the next, pull through, start doing your double crochet, pull through yarn through two loops, and then keep the keep this loop now on the hook. Don't finish it. Make another one like just like that. Keep last loop on the hook and let's make another one. So we need three of those unfinished double crochets here. So again, we have four loops on the hook, pull through all of them at once. We have third cluster. Let's do another pico, chain three, slip stitch into the first chain. chain one more and let's do another cluster so already pulling the th uh, yarn uh, thread over my hook skip one stitch and insert hook into the next okay. first double crochet unfinished keep the loop on hook second one keep the loop loop on hook and third unfinished. Four loops on a hook. Pull through all of them at once. Four clusters now. So um, you are going to have at the end of this row total of 19 clusters. So I'm gonna keep doing my clusters and picos and we'll see you at the end of the row. I finished my 19 clusters and picots between them. I'm ready to uh, finish this row. I'm going to insert my hook the beginning, the top of the first cluster, and just slip stitch to join. And um, we can now do the strand. And for that, we uh, chain 40 times one two three four five six seven and now after 40 chains i'm gonna turn my bow over and slip stitch into this first space here before that pico starts and join with slip stitch. So we have now attached our uh, uh, strand. Now cut off the yarn and just 
pull it through. And that's it for the golden sun. Just uh, weave in the thread end, of course. And our second bell is done. So have uh, fun with this one. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, there will be another video of showing how to crochet white snowflake. Merry Christmas.